Shalom, daughters of Sarah. So this is the chicken pot pie recipe. Um, as you can see, this is the finished product. Okay, looks yummy. This is the recipe. Parsley, ground garlic, ground onion, salt, pepper, celery salt, thyme, and white pepper. Now you're gonna need about two to three bouillon cubes to do the broth. For the chicken, you want to season it with onion and garlic powder with salt and pepper. That's it. And just cook it up. Now you're gonna do your broth. Basically, you just take one to two tablespoons of each ingredient and just mix it all in there. So when you set aside your broth, you wanna start defrosting your vegetables so that you can add it with the chicken. As you can see, the chicken is on the bottom. And I'm adding the veggies, the mixed veggies. This will make two small medium, uh, two medium pies. Your corn, your sugar snaps, your broccoli, your sweet peas, your carrots, whatever you like. So now you just add your broth in there. So that's your finished broth there. It takes about five minutes to make. You just taste as you go, add salt if you need to, to get the taste that you like. I put more than enough salt because the salt is gonna dilute into the veggies and the chicken. So it may taste bland after a while and that's when you just add salt to it. You can add onion and garlic powder as well. Okay, just mix it around. Okay. I'm taking a cup and I'm filling it up about halfway. And I add about two tablespoons of cornstarch so I can start thickening up the broth. Now you can add two, one to two more tablespoons of cornstarch to make it thicker. And make sure your fire is at medium to low heat. Um, so the cornstarch will cook up in there and thicken up. And then you just add it. I like to add it in the middle. And then I just mix it in from the middle to the outer part. It really good. Now this is where you wait for about two to three minutes. See how it thickens up on medium to low heat. And if you want to add some cornstarch, just do the same thing. And then you just add some salt and pepper as you taste. Taste as you go. So you can bring out those nice flavors. We are like children. Okay, that's the pepper. On canvases, up shades as we go. Now you just cover that, you mix we'll it up and cover it. And while it's so getting cooked up a little, you just start doing your your pie crust. Now we bought ours. You can make your Step own if you'd like, but we bought ours to make the time shorter and making it. And you just add the broth, you add the mixture into the pot. These are about medium sized pie pans. Can I get some greens and some blues? We're made by the pigment of things that is. Now you don't want to overflow it, so you just want to kind of just stop at the top. And then you add the second layer of crust on top and get a fork and just kind of press the fork on the sides of the pan and you take the knife and you take out the excess okay. then you just poke holes on the top so that the steam and the juice can breathe in the oven and this is the second one my lord did the first one 
Okay, I like to make like tic-tac-toe designs. So I have to get the excess and I do my little tic-tac-toe design. Okay, now you just poke the holes so that the steam can come out of there in the oven. Now just put your oven to about 350 degrees, 350, for about 30 minutes so it can get to a nice golden brown. Okay, and there you have it, the finished product. Nice golden brown, nice and crusty like. Okay. Just so on by people we know. Watch your technique as you go. Step back and So that's what your chicken pot pie should look like at the end. Okay. So like the video. Subscribe to the page. Can I get some Comment on the bottom and let us know how this recipe went for you. How did it come out? Okay. Like Motley and Midden, these masters of peace and light, layers of color and time. Step back Okay, that's us serving the first slice. Now, as you will see, it's a little juicy. So, as I said in the beginning, you can add the cornstarch if you want it to thicken up a little more and you want it to stay together a little bit more. But nonetheless, it's still yummy. Oh, and when you leave it overnight, like the leftovers are banging because the, uh, the seasoning just kind of soaks in. So enjoy Israel. <laughs> Shalom, Mosai, and Christ bless you.